you see people who do big things and you automatically say, that guy's so lucky, she's so lucky. You don't know that, you're assuming that. Quit using the word luck, quit believing in luck and start believing in work. Start believing in results that come from your actions. When you quit, your mind says we're done. So it doesn't expand. There's no expansion when you quit. I'm drowning, I'm miserable, I'm suffering, I'm broken, but I'm not going anywhere. He's not leaving. So we gotta expand. We gotta grow. We gotta figure this fucking thing out. So then these compartments in your brain, they have to work. And then you start to engage parts of your mind that you've never engaged before. When you're in suffer mode and you say, I'm not gonna quit. You're forcing your brain now to operate on a level it's not used to, but then it becomes used to. We have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist, or we can take the responsibility to change them. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they want to do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. No, no. You want to take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. Here's the truth. This is the reality. Nobody's going to believe in you until you've already done it. Nobody's going to come and celebrate with you until you've already done it. The work is going to come before the belief, which means you're going to have to work for a long fucking time by yourself with no applause, with no awards, with nobody telling you good job. And then once you start to build something and people start to see the momentum and they start to see the result and you start doing some things, then you're going to get a little belief. And then what's going to happen is you're going to believe. And then what's going to happen? You're going to go do a little bit more work and a little bit more work. Results are going to come more. More people are going to believe. That's the reality. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. Because to get to where you want to go, the amount of pain involved, the amount of mental pain, of how many times you're going to have to do something that you don't want to do to get to where you want to go. There's going to be more times you do something that you don't want to do than you are going to want to do it. And that's your new norm. And then once you do this over and over and over again, it becomes like breathing. I don't want to live this lifestyle, but to get to the other side of this, I have to. When that alarm clock goes off, there's at least 50% of the time where you just, that soft little pillow is just caressing your head and you want to stay there. And it takes discipline to go, nope, I'm going to get up out of this bed and I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. And that discipline that you have at that moment, you win that fight. That's a big victory. That pattern will carry out throughout the day because once you're up, well, now that I'm up, I might as well go work out because I'm already up and I feel good that I got up out of bed and I won that battle. Let me go win another battle. I'm gonna go get it done. And then when you show up at the office and there's someone that's got a big box of donuts that they're giving away for free, by the way, it's almost like an insult not to take them. But when you've already gotten up early, you had the discipline there, you already worked out, you had the discipline there, and now you see the box of donuts, you're like, no, I'm not gonna eat the donuts and that discipline carries on throughout the day. So now you take that and you expand that out over a week and a month and you end up with more discipline and it starts with that simple act of getting up and getting out of bed in the morning. Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. I should lose weight, I should work out, I should spend more time with my kids, I should work harder, I should make more calls, I should, I should, I should, I should. And then you know what? People don't do their shoulds and they get mad at themselves and they what I call shit all over themselves. They beat themselves up about it. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. When suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change. It's like if you want to take the island, burn the boats. Because if there's no way to go back, it's amazing what happens when it's a must to do something versus a should.